my reaction time failed eventually before this video let's do our own research about whether how much of a failure reaction time actually ended up being social need. social <coughs> How many videos do you like right now? I mean, 14 million subs, 4 billion views, 7, uh, actually, that's not very good, 729k sub views, wait, no, is that 7, that's 700,000 or 7, hmm, how are we losing views, what, how's that good? Is he deleting videos? Yeah, he's got around 729,000 views. Which, I mean, for 14 million subs, that is, to be fair, a dead channel. Monthly, he's losing subs as well. From a quite consistently 200k a month to 100k to minus 100k. Then no subscriber, minus 100k. He, yeah, this is definitely actually dying. It's not an inaccurate title. This is a dying chat. Let me upload daily or something. When was this? Let's go future perfect. When does he reckon? When does he reckon he's gonna end up on 10 minutes subs after going? Future subs and I'd still on the other. Future views somehow is going down. But now let's get out. Let's actually get into it. In 2016, it seemed like reaction channels on YouTube would never die down. We saw an explosion of new content and new channels, and the reaction genre was taking over YouTube day by day, with new accounts being created daily. In the mid-2010s, we were introduced to a new content creator on YouTube. The channel reaction time was born on April 25th, 2015, and quickly rose up the ranks of YouTube. The biggest difference between reaction time and other reaction content creators around the same time was that reaction time didn't just react to videos. The channel also reacted to tweets and other other forms oh, yeah. of content when other content creators would just react to videos on YouTube. This slight change in direction for reaction time showed tremendous upside and the channel was able to generate more and more subscribers and views each month. Reaction time was able to stand out from the crowd and became a more sought after channel for users to watch with what more variety this? which kept the content always fit. What is what the point of became a more sought after channel for users to watch with more variety, which kept the content always feeling fresh. And new. Know, reaction time was probably one of the quickest I growing know. reaction channels at the time, and in the channel's first couple of months of uploading content to YouTube, the channel grew three million subscribers. Heading into 2017, reaction time had no clue that the channel was going to grow as much as it did. And even if we sort reaction time's uploads by most popular, we could see that the majority of the channel's most viewed videos were in 2017. If we take a look at Google Trends, we could see that 2017 I mean, was Reaction enough. Time's peak year, and the channel ended up growing from 3 million subscribers in 2016 to over 7 million subscribers in November of 2017, and gained over 1 billion total views on the channel. This increase in subscribers and views was due to video collaborations with another huge Reaction channel. Reaction Time would collaborate with Dang Matt Smith multiple That's times throughout 2017, and every video that. that the two were in generated millions of views. Yeah. These collaborations helped grow both of their channels, and with the growth of Reaction Reaction Time's channel, Tal Fishman would expand his YouTube presence. Tal yeah. Fishman uploaded the very first group video to Free Time, which was a channel oh, that yeah. consisted of Reaction Time and his friends. This channel did a little bit of everything. Along with Free Time, there was also a gaming channel called Game Time that was created in 2016, with the channel's that. first upload being in 2017. Both of these channels, as of today, have over 1 million subscribers. Now, 2017 was I mean, a big that's year for a lot of like reaction good. channels. Channels like Blasphemous HD, I'm Dante, and Dang Matt Smith were all growing extremely fast, but heading into 2018, views and subscriber growth started to slow down for the reaction genre. Now, it wasn't yeah, a total loss in views, but video views did become stagnant for the I most mean, part. The reason for this only loss in views yeah. and subscribers to go from like a billion views a year subscribers was because of the oversaturation of reaction channels and content on YouTube. 
There were just so many channels and videos that you could get lost in a crowd pretty easily if you didn't already have a following. Yeah. Channels that were once bringing in millions of views were slowly losing returning viewers and that would hurt their channel. At first, this really didn't affect reaction time and the channel was still growing in subscribers with reaction time gaining another 4 million subscribers ending 2018 off with 11 million subscribers in total. 2019 was a lot of the same pattern. The views began actually? to fall off over a couple of weeks but then reaction time had a viral video which would bring the channel back into the algorithm which equaled more views and then the views would fall off again and then is this just footage from a commentary video of analytics what really is that the the but something else would happen in 2019. in march of 2019 i'm alex called out reaction time in a video titled uh, okay. stop reaction time that during this video i'm alex points out tal's lack of interest in the videos that he was reacting to and how it seemed like tal was only uploading for a paycheck but yes you're not wrong there is pretty much no way that this is gonna happen i don't believe the paper is going to cut wood open thank you for sitting there in the top corner stating the obvious couldn't I have just watched the actual video though? This is a bit... This is a bit ironic, no? Pretty much the only content that Alex makes is the actual videos now. At least this is the TV show, I guess. For some reason, YouTuber decided that this one's the one that gets 12 million views. And I'm not bothered about reaction videos, because reaction videos are what I do, what many other YouTubers do. It's a very popular <laughs> thing nowadays, if you add something to it. Disrespectful to the teenage boy involved, but also the family, and then let alone content wise, he is just stealing video. There is nothing transformative about this. And if he yeah. does react, I'm really worried about what it's gonna be. I just don't know why these people can't stick to oddly satisfying videos or reading Reddit posts, you know? But that's something you can add to, it's something you can do with it, and you have to react to people who almost die and sit there and say nothing. This video gained over 2.1 million Wait. views. But villainy has definitely <laughs> I have, I have perfectly watched villainy. Look at people die and say, ah, oh, that's a bit nasty. That's it. <laughs> what? That's a big question. That this was just the first nail in Reaction Time's eventual coffin. Now, yeah. in 2020, lockdown happened, and more and more YouTube users were at home with nothing to watch. And yeah. some channels really took off during lockdown. But sadly for Reaction Time, the channel just wasn't one that benefited from more and more users being home. Reaction Time's views at this point in time hovered around 300,000 to 1 million views, with only some uploads getting more than 2 million views. This started to look bad for a channel that had over 15 million subscribers. And in fact, it was. Yeah. In June of 2020, Reaction Time reached its peak subscriber count with 15.4 million subscribers. And and this was the last time Reaction Time experienced it. I don't think you've seen that with like any more growth. During any other channel that hasn't had a major controversy. Like, yeah, the Alex commentary video was not great, but I mean, I doubt that had that severe of an impact two July years later. Reaction Time deleted 800 million views on its channel and was slowly bleeding out subscribers each month. The video views within the past two years haven't been consistent. Sometimes Reaction Time will have a viral video that will generate 1 million views, and then the next video struggled to gain any views. I saw this video on TikTok. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. You're broken. I don't want to play with you anymore. Yeah, pretty much. Close enough. In the comments of this video, commenters were just pointing out how boring and uninteresting mm. Reaction Time's videos have become, and how Tao also became very repetitive over time, and one day they just stopped watching and never looked back. And that was the same for a lot of people who watched this TikTok video. This video has 930,000 views with over 200,000 likes, and a lot of people have said the same thing. Repetitive, mm. boring, and not interesting yeah. are some of the words that these users describe Reaction Time. Standing out from the crowd was one thing that really held reaction time yeah, when the was first paid. The content yeah. that was uploaded was fresh and new, but after a while with no change, the content started to become stale, which led to the channel getting lost in the crowd for the first time yeah, ever. Yeah. Reaction time lost its appeal to its audience, and leading up to the present day, reaction time struggles to even break 500,000 views on every new upload to the channel. Tal also oh, stopped yeah, uploading yeah. on free time and oh, game yeah, time yeah. with the last yeah, yeah. uploads on these channels being over a year ago. Tal himself also left the Reaction Time channel yeah. abandoned for five months until a couple days ago when he what? uploaded this video titled The Real Reason Why I Quit YouTube. Sad. During I only got a hundred K. What? <laughs> really? That is depressing. Because like that pretty much ends up always being 
I mean, this is a banking title, thumbnail, everything. And he got a hundred K with fifteen mil subs. That's questionable. In this video, he states sad. that he lost motivation to continue uploading because of how restrictive YouTube came over the years and how they don't allow him to use certain music or videos. It's why I basically stopped uploading and what I want to do in the future. From the moment I started doing YouTube videos and uploading content online, it was an absolutely life-changing experience mm -hmm. that I've never even imagined was possible. What are the odds? I think I got pretty lucky to have all of you guys support me for seven years. I started YouTube seven years ago. A reaction Time really took off in those seven years a lot of different things changed tiktok wasn't a thing we had vine back in the day and youtube was basically one of the main places that people would come to watch videos especially funny videos videos that would be fun to watch that you'd watch for hours with your friends and now things have definitely changed tiktok is extremely entertaining but i don't think it's ever truly the same what? like how it was when i grew up with youtube i've noticed that me and some of my friends definitely have struggled to make videos in the same way that we made before youtube has a lot of different guidelines and it has become very restrictive over the past few years you can't use certain music you can't say certain things and it's made videos a little bit more difficult to make and as someone who likes to make youtube videos i couldn't get on tiktok super easily because i'm just so used to connecting with you through these types of videos now i feel like this is just a lie for years youtube wouldn't let you use copyrighted music it's not something that's new that's stopping you from uploading also, if they're restrictive of the videos that they put out, it's probably because they are either age restricted or blocked in certain countries. And when you're reacting to those videos, because they're age restricted, you don't get the same amount of money that you want, which is why you're not uploading on YouTube. But it's okay yeah, to I mean, feel unmotivated when your views have dropped off an insane amount. But that's when you should change up your content and try to get those views back. The views on your channel aren't low because of YouTube. They're low because you have been doing the same exact style of video for seven years and fans of your channel will even say that your reactions have gotten even worse. You either have no reaction at all and just watch the video without speaking or you have an over exaggerated reaction. Now we've seen this same thing happen to BHD. After a while of reacting to videos, you start to over-exaggerate your reaction because you feel like you need to, to make yeah. the video more entertaining. Okay. But viewers of the channel just want the real you. A lot of BHD's fans stopped watching his content because they didn't like how he overreacted to every single video that he was watching. And then we just got the repetitive thumbnails and reactions for his channel because he was too lazy to change up his content. BHD over the last two years has even used the same exact thumbnail style for years with the same reactions on the thumbnail. And the same goes for reaction time. This shows your viewers that you don't care to even take a new picture for your thumbnails. Even if you don't mean to seem like you don't care this still shows that you are either lazy or you're just putting out the content because you want to make money. This stale content and loss of motivation would equal a drop in subscribers. Each month, Reaction Time is losing over 100,000 subscribers. Reaction Time would peak at 15.4 million subscribers in 2020, but currently is losing subscribers daily and is now at 14.7 million subscribers. But what do you think about Reaction Time? Do you think he will eventually change up the content or just continue to create the same video style that he's been doing for years now? Let me know in the comments below. But this has been the end of the video. You can drop the content creator that you want me to check out. The best way to suggest them to me is either through my DMs on Instagram or happens, on my Discord. Both will be pinned in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thank you all Just so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Probably doesn't stay up for probably not great reacting to the downfall of the asset, is it?